There are a lot of well-made off-road trailers out there, but one thing all the good ones will have in common, they all have some form of articulating hitch. In this video, I'll show you exactly what a tri-axis articulating hitch is. I'll show you how to install the, ve the tow vehicle portion of the articulating hitch. We'll take my Jeep and my X-Venture XV3 trailer out to my local off-road park and show you the, the uh, tri-axis articulating hitch in operation. And this video isn't sponsored by anybody. These are completely all my own objective opinions using the gear that I've used. This is a standard ball hitch. It'll have good side-to-side -side capability, for example, allowing the trailer to turn a corner. It'll have limited up and down capability. I have really no ability to allow the tow vehicle to roll independently of the trailer. In an off-road condition where the trailer needs to roll independently, the tow vehicle going one way and the trailer going the other, this type of hitch is generally going to disengage. Another type of hitch that's used for off-road is called a pintle hitch. It's a large ring that fits into a hook with a safety latch used mostly by the military, industry, and agriculture. I've got three examples here in my video. A pintle hitch can make a good off-road hitch but not as capable as a tri-axis articulating hitch. It will not have the range of motion. This is one half of the articulating hitch. Let's take this and hook it up to my trailer and see how it actually works. There's three pieces here. There's the receiver portion. This portion is called the yoke. That's attached to the receiver hitch. And this portion is simply called the trailer side. There's a bar that extends into the tongue, and that's through bolted, through, and keeps that, that bar fastened on. There's 360 degrees of movement in the trailer side. The trailer side also has bushings, absorb shock when you're going off-road and over the road. Yoke fits nicely onto the Trailer side, install your pin. So I could be in an angle like this. I could be down like this. Any way that the trailer needs to. The Jeep can be this way. The trailer can be this way. And that's really the heart and soul of an off-road trailer. The ability of the trailer to move independently of the tow vehicle. So most importantly, this is a rated hitch. It's rated at 6,000 pounds. Anytime you're towing a trailer, you want to make sure all the portions you have towing it are rated to tow whatever weight trailer you're towing. They make a lot of different adapters for adapting the trailer side for all different types of trailer configurations. The yoke is pretty similar on all of them. And the trailer side is pretty similar, but it can fit up to about any trailer that you... Uh... Since I have two vehicles that might be towing the X-Venture XV3 trailer, I went shopping for another yoke so I could have two separate hitches, one to work with each vehicle. And I noticed when I got this new... went shopping for this new yoke from, from CU Off-Road, it's made a little differently. It actually looks maybe a little stronger. You can see... They've got a plate here, a plate here. They've got a different kind of bolt. Got this big Allen bolt holding this one. This one has this huge inch and a half bolt and nut holding in. No problem with that. No problem with this one at all. It was plenty strong enough. It worked great. Uh, there's no fatigue on it at all. Um, I guess they just improved their product. Came up with this one. So this is what I ordered, and this is what I got to make my new, make up my new receiver hitch. And my receiver is going to be a little longer, and that's going to help clear the spare tire on the Jeep. Maybe be able to open the tailgate a little easier. Should help with a little clearance. Uh, it's going to take a few basic tools. I got this big, huge adjustable wrench. I got this special made trailer bolt wrench and the largest allen wrench i've ever seen that's a three-quarter allen socket 
Never used one this big before. I had to go buy a couple of these tools because I didn't have anything this large. Uh, anyways, it's pretty simple to put it on. And the best way to do it, I found, is by actually putting the receiver onto the Jeep. And it'll hold it. It gives you, I don't have a vise big enough to put this in. And so that's what I'll do. Let's get started installing this thing. I hope you're finding this video useful and informative. If you are, consider hitting that like button, leave a comment, and most of all, subscribe if you're enjoying the channel. Thanks very much. Installing the new yoke on the new receiver hitch. The middle nut on the yoke tensions the yoke and should be hand tight. Tight enough to prevent wobble and still allow free rotation. The nut on the bottom is a plastic lined lock nut and will resist vibration. I put the hitch in sideways. It makes it easier to get at the nut and bolt to tighten them up. Add some Loctite to the nut. The nut should be torqued. I don't have a torque wrench that big, but I'll get it close and then keep a good eye on it. After you tighten the nut, the yoke should spin freely but should have no back and forth or side to side wobble. Last step, apply some grease and then you're ready to hook up your trailer. Let's take a look at this tri-axis articulating hitch in operation. The split screen will show you what type of terrain the Jeep and trailer are traversing and how the hitch operates over that terrain, allowing the Jeep and trailer to be essentially independent of each other while maintaining a productive relationship. My Jeep is a 2020 Willys Eco Diesel Wrangler and the diesel motor gives me a tremendous advantage while towing. The articulating hitch is rated at 6,000 pounds. A trailer weighs less than 2,000 pounds. It gives me a huge safety factor. This big hill will be a good test for the hitch. At the top, the fisheye of the GoPro, along with the radius of the hill, produce a strange effect. The trailer is working just the way it's supposed to, but it does produce kind of a disorienting effect going over this hill. I imagine a standard ball hitch would be very stressed or possibly disengaged being torqued at this angle.
A couple of tight off-camber corners coming up. No problem when you're towing your off-road trailer with a tri-axis articulating hitch. If you found the video useful, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.